In this video, we're going to explore the um, Ju uh, June 2014 Unit 7 uh, Applied ICT for Med Excel exam. Um, a couple of things I want to start off with before we get started. Uh, first of all, um, this is my uh, interpretation of the scenario. This is my thinking about the scenario. Um, this, under no circumstances, should be considered the definitive solution. This is not the definitive solution. This is just a way of thinking about the scenario to get you started. You must always um, use your own intelligence on it, use your own thinking behind it, but most importantly, you must look at the data sources when you get them in the exam, look at them very carefully, read through the exam very carefully, because uh, you may have things in there that you didn't anticipate, or maybe your teacher didn't anticipate either. So you must take this with a grain of salt. This is just a way of approaching the scenario, thinking about the scenario, rather than this is the answer to the scenario. Secondly, uh, I am in no way uh, affiliated with Edexcel in any way, shape or form. Um, this is purely my own thinking behind it and um, so again, you must take that under advisement. Anyway, let's get started. So this scenario is very short, um, and short scenarios tend to be a bit more challenging because you have to do a bit more thinking behind the words of the scenario and what they request in the forms. Um, it's based on a theatre production, and the first thing to probably pull out is that actually it does say very clearly that this is uh, for the production of The Wizard of Oz, uh, and not for other productions. They are kind of making a difference between a production, which is uh, like Wizard of Oz, or another one like We Will Rock You, um, and the performance itself, which is the same production over a number of dates. On the last sentence of the first paragraph, it says, it will be performed to the general public over a number of dates. Okay, so this is what we are going to consider. So it is very likely that that information needs to be stored. And that information uh, would store the, the performance date. And we'll have an ID. Okay. Just because um, otherwise there's no way of selecting uh, performances. Let's move on uh, to the second paragraph. It says if we performance needs students to take a range of production jobs, for example, sound crew, directing crews, and actors. Now that first sentence is very important. If you look at it very carefully, it says a production job is both the back end um, jobs such as directing crew, but also the actors. They're making no differentiation between the two. That suggests that all the information could well be stored in the same table. Now this one is a little bit debatable. It could be that actors are farmed off into another table or not. Um, however, um, it, it suggests from that sentence that actually they are thinking of them in the same uh, light. So it's likely we are going to have production jobs um, table, or just jobs for want of another word uh, to say it. Um, and it also suggests that we need a table to store the student information, because otherwise uh, there'll be no way of registering the students or anything like that. So um, production jobs and uh, student is going to be important. It does say students specify the production job they would like to have. Um, so that suggests that students have some way of saying which job they are interested in. That could be that they are going to say the type of job, or it could be that they are going to say this is the actual job I'm interested in. For example, let's say they're interested in being an actor. Um, it could be that they say I want to be Dorothy. Or it could be, I just want to be an actor. Um, that is not clear on the scenario, so you just have to think uh, about that in, in the background. Um, now, the student information we're going to fill out later, but we're just coming up with the idea of tables for now. Uh, each production are, has characters which only actors can be assigned to play. For example, 
that in The Wizard of Oz there's a character called Dorothy, only one actor is assigned to a title role, such as Dorothy, and up to ten actors can be required for bit part characters such as Winged Monkeys. Now, this, um, this little paragraph is possibly the hardest one to interpret because it's not sure whether we need a table for characters or not. So it could be that actually um, the characters effectively um, are the characters that are needed for the um, um, for the scenario. It could be that this information is all stored in the production jobs um, table. So I'm going to put characters as a big question mark because there's one thing that we're missing uh, and that is a way of linking all these tables together. Okay, because we'll need to consider that in a second. So it could be that we need five tables for this um, scenario or it could be that we only have four and the characters information is stored in the jobs table, production jobs table. Um, again, you will have to consider both possibilities and make your own judgment when you see the data. So currently Vicky keeps handwritten records of students in productions. She's finding this very stressful, blah de blah de blah. That paragraph has no useful information in it whatsoever, so we can clearly ignore it. The first three paragraphs contain the key elements. The next thing to do is once you've kind of come up with some initial ideas, you then read through the forms. Okay, in this case, there's only two forms, the registering students form, uh, the signing students uh, form, and a report for um, activity four. Or five, I forget which one it is now. Um, so, let's look at the registering students uh, table, that uh, form. So, registered students must have name, gender, and preferred job. So, students. Now, it's very likely they're going to have student number. And that is going to be the primary key. It's going to have their name. So, maybe first name, surname. Okay, it doesn't really specify if it needs both of those. You'll find out on the day. Uh, gender, obviously. Um, and... Also, uh, their preferred job role. Now, again, now this is something that uh, is, is unsure. It might be that this is a link, a foreign key link to the production jobs. So, production jobs ID. So, that's a foreign key link to the production jobs table. It could be just a free text which says actor or sound crew, something like that. Okay, again, you've got to consider. My um, again, I do not know whether they'll be able to go down and say, okay, I'm interested in being Dorothy, or if they have to say, I'm just interested in being an actor. My gut feeling says that actually they will just say actor, they won't say the actual job, it's uh, the actual um, character stuff. I don't know. I don't know. You will have to again look at the data. So, this is all that that form asks for. So, Let's move on. And then we come to form two. Now, you can probably imagine um, by the amount of information here they've given here that form two is the big one. Okay, so this is the one that you'll probably want to uh, spend a bit of time really thinking about and exploring in a bit more detail. Form one is very straightforward. Form two is, is a little bit more challenging. So let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. So first of all, it says selecting production. Well, the production in this case is actually the performance. So they, they have interchanged the words a little bit, which I don't think is particularly helpful. Um, I'm going to stick with performance. Um, and that will be a very simple drop down. So no problems there. Indicating the type of production job the student is to be assigned to. So um, let's consider... The production job so it's going to have a primary key I'm just going to call it PJRD for want of another name um, it's going to have possibly the type of job in text um, and then again it depends if we're going to have the actual uh, character or not I'm going to put a question mark in that one because I again we're not sure whether it's going to be character or whether that is actually going to be stored into a separate table. 
<coughs> there is a link, foreign key link, from the student to production jobs. Um, student is interested in one job only, so it's a one-to-one -one link. Um, but that's where it would be. Again, this could be that they just simply say, um, I'm interested in um, a type of job uh, rather than actually the details of it. Again, we'll have to see that when we, the data comes through. So let's uh, let's move forward. If it is an actor, we need to be able to select the character, display details for the character, um, calculate the number of few actors still needed, ensure that a suitable actor can be signed for that character, storing the character assignments if all um, requirements are met, and update the records. So um, I'm going to take the characters table out for now and do it as a four uh, table solution. And essentially on the production jobs table, we're going to put the number needed. Okay, and that's the number of, of people I need for that job. And also I'm going to put in number of people used so far. Okay, so number needed will store how many I need for a single job. So, for example, the Wigging Monkeys, I need 10. Um, number used is how many I've actually assigned to it so far. Um, and that will obviously start off at zero. Possibly in the uh, scenario when you get the data, you might have some jobs already assigned. Don't know. Um, and that fulfills requirements for um Calculate the number of actors still needed because you can use those two numbers to do some calculations. You could also update those records when you've assigned someone. So coming on to the um, assigned role table, this is going to be the linking table which links all of these together. So it could be that this will use a composite primary key um, which will be made up of the uh, student number. The production job and um, potentially the performance if we're going down that route. Um, it does say though in the scenario that actually this is um, uh, you, you're going to be assigned to that job for the entirety of the performances. So, it, to be fair, the actual performance it, it, it suggests that selecting a performance is um, pointless. I don't know, it's it, that's a bit weird. That bit so. We'll leave it at that, and this is going to be a composite primary. So I'm just going to now underline my primary keys so I know which one they are. And this is the first idea and attempt at possible tables. As you can see, this is uh, in no way finished, but gives you an opportunity to start to explore this in a bit more detail. You may wish to put more fields into this or take fields out, depending on how you feel it. If you feel that actually this should be a five table uh, solution, again, uh, you have explore of it. I would be very prepared that there might be a character table. And it could be that actually the production information might get put into performance as well because um, even though it says select production and we're taking this I'm taking this as meaning selecting a performance it could well be that actually they genuinely mean selecting the production i.e. Wizard of Oz which means that this drop down will have one feel one thing in it which would be absolutely silly but Excel have been known to do silly things in the past so again uh, big stress at the end of this video you must when you go into the exam Put down your ideas initially of what tables you're going to go for. Then spend the good first hour really analysing the data, making sure that you have put the fields in the right um, tables. Use my other video, which shows you how to, to do that using Excel. Um, and use that process of thinking about it to help solve the solution. If you get the tables wrong, it could impact your other parts and could cause you to have problems. Also, I strongly suggest you talk to your teacher about this, um, talk to you other to your friends, other colleagues on the um, on the course that you're doing um, and make sure that you've come up with 
um, a good idea of how to solve this.